All right, it's about 11 a.m. on Saturday, April 22nd. Uh, we are in the car driving in Mojave, California. Um, I won this eBay auction for 200 comic books. They're all uh, Gold Key, that is the publisher. Um, I was on eBay looking for issues of Magnus Robot Fighter. I'm into science fiction. They also have Star Trek and The Big Lot and uh, Space Family Robinson. Um, which has uh, got a good connection with Lost in Space. Anyway, there's a whole bunch of other books on the lot, um, but it's 200. It was local pickup only, so that's why we have to schlep all the way out to Mojave, California, but we're making it a fun, fun road trip. There's also an airplane graveyard, whatever you call a place where you put old airplanes. Um, so we might try and get some shots of that as well. Okay, we just pulled up and parked. Um, I'll do an update when I get the comics. Someone did warn me, though, that if I'm meeting this strange person out in this sketchy neighborhood, I should bring a gun. I did not bring a gun. I'm going to put my faith in a higher power that, inshallah, this is all going to work out. All right, we came to the Mojave Air and Spaceport. There's a restaurant over here or over there somewhere. Uh, they won't let us in because we got the doggy with us. Um, but I'm gonna try to walk around, maybe get a few shots for the video. Oh, I got the comic, success, success. I'll do an overview of the haul uh, whenever we get back to uh, Los Angeles. All right, I just stepped outside the Voyager restaurant. We're actually not gonna eat here because I won't let the doggy in. And, uh, yeah, there's a lot of planes over here. On the way back, we decided to do this scenic tour through the Angeles National Forest. This was a very, very windy road through the mountains. And as luck would have it, we tuned into a public radio station here in Los Angeles. And they were playing the show Radio Lab, which was a special episode all about the original War of the Worlds broadcast. Since I study radio history, that's my academic area of specialty, I thought this was really, really great timing. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Carl Phillips again, out at the Wilmot Farm, Grover's Mill, New Jersey. Professor Pearson and myself made the 11 miles from Princeton in 10 minutes. Well, I hardly know where to begin. To paint for you a word picture of a strange scene before my eyes, like something out of a modern Arabian night. Well, I just got here. I haven't had a chance to look around yet. I guess that's it. Yes, I guess that's the thing directly in front of me. Okay, we're back at the house. Here's the box. Mostly gold key. This stuff in the front, uh, I got some extra books for the guy. Uh, 20 books. 20 books for another 100 bucks. Flash Gordon. Bunch of Forbidden Worlds. Uh, Adam Strange. Yeah, Flash Gordon. Flash Gordon, a big like science fiction Flash Gordon, but mostly I would say from here on is all the gold key stuff, 200 books, a lot of Korak, a lot of Two Rock, Magnus Robot Fighter, that's something else I collect, um, I saw some Star, I have to do a proper inventory, but I saw some Star Trek in here, including, yeah, yeah, Star Trek, and then... Tarzan, Tarzan, and then over here, look at this, a very cool UFO flying saucers, UFO flying saucers, look at that, that is really cool, um, all right, yeah, I'm very, very pleased with what I got, very pleased with what I got, and I'm going to do a proper inventory and maybe try and take a photo of every comic book. <laughs> 